Hello and welcome back to Jilly's Nails. Today we are going to make this coffee manicure with the April Manny by Me box. This is the exact manicure we're going to make. For the first time I wanted to try out the actual card in the box because I thought it was super cute. So let's rip this sucker open. We're going to get into it. This lip balm. Oh my gosh. It smells like a coffee shop. I used to work in a coffee shop. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like a coffee shop. Just this little swipe very light swipe covers the lips it's soft it's soothing it's wonderful I also have the surfer cell from that company and it is freaking amazing like any kind of rashes burns any problems that you have it's fantastic this is one of the new plates they are coffee and tea themed also like little dessert themes on the other plate super cute um, I'm not a huge fan of food but I can still use this plate like these could be barber poles you have all this scroll work that you can do across the nails. Um, you could even do French tips with it, with the, the rounded corners. So there's options there, even though I'm not a huge fan of food stuff, that's a great option for a plate. And of course, if you like food stuff, you'll be in heaven with it. <laughs> Here are the polishes that came in this month's box. The one on the left is Latte. It is a caramel color. I mean, there's it's caramel. They can call it latte all they want. It's darker than that. It's caramel. <laughs> I'm not even going to try to pronounce that one, but you should look it up in the Urban Dictionary. It's a funny uh, definition. I am going to go through and take off my hollow taco that has just started coming off, by the way. It's six days in with this Walgreens polish remover. I love that stuff. Particularly, it's not necessarily the, the acetone that's in it. It's the inside of that nail polish remover bottle. It has little scrapers on it. It makes getting glitter and stuff off so easy. So definitely check that out if you don't have it. We're gonna stamp the coffee beans first and let them start to dry so that I can go in and fill them in with that deeper color, which by the way, just made me want to eat chocolate covered espresso beans. <laughs> if you've never had chocolate covered espresso beans and you like coffee, you should really try it. They're delicious. Don't eat them late at night. You will stay up all night. <laughs> And so what I'm showing you here is that you can go through and I'm using that lint roller to get all the extra junk off of the stamp. So I just have my little dot left. I'm going to put a cover on it so I don't get cat hair in and start painting my base colors. This is Skinny Dip from Essie. I'm going to use it on the nails that will have the coffee beans. And I'm showing you that while it's drying, there are other things that you can be doing. Like my nails are drying right now with the skinny dip. So I'm just going to go ahead and paint the background in on these. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be like a Starbucks cup. Um, and so I'm, I'm painting it similar colors because that's what they have in there. But I really love this concept. It's very cute. I don't want to lie to you all. This is very advanced stamping. This took me a while to do this. And I really kind of had to think it out. Like how did they do this? The directions for all that were not on the back. Um, I mean, I'm just going to go through now and use my Maniology nail art brush to fill in the coffee beans. I mean seriously. Do those not look like chocolate covered espresso beans? I want them. I want them. They're so delicious. So I'm just going to go through and fill them all in. Normally I would not fill in every single coffee bean that's on there. My nails are not that big. However, I'm going to use one stamp for both nails. Put the lid on, keep the cat hair out, and I'm going to go in with coconut on the other two fingers. The directions did call for a custardy color. This is the closest I had to custard, but I ended up happy with the results. So I know it looks like there's nothing on my other nails. There is. <laughs> it is the Essie Skinny Dip. And I'm going to go through quickly and put quick dry top coat over everything. This is Setch Beat. And what I'm doing is um, kind of just doing them out of order a little bit. So I'm doing this nail, then I'm going to go do my pinky because I painted those first. While I'm doing those, the other two nails should be dry when I come in, and they were. So I could go in after that and then go ahead and top coat those as well. I want to show you the steps to kind of make it go faster and how you can do different things at the same time while you're stamping. I went ahead and put on my latex peel off barrier because it's going to get messy and we had a cat quake. All right. So I need these lines and I need them for the coffee cup part of this. 
as you can see other stuff got picked up with it and I'm using a, an old piece of tape off my lint roller to get that out of there and then I had to cut this little triangle wedge to kind of get in between those lines that's the only negative thing I would say about this design because I think it's adorable but that was a pain in the rear <laughs> to try to get in there and get all that out and then I'm just gonna go in very very carefully and with a very thin coat of polish on the brush and paint that stripe for the coffee cup. Really, this is one is kind of like a puzzle. You're putting all the pieces together and then we're gonna assemble it at the end. Part of that, which I've never shown, I, no, I might have shown it once on this channel, is a, what's called a smush mani. That's what we're gonna do to give the kind of coffee look to it. And I'm showing you how you do it. You just mix a couple colors together and kind of tap, 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 tap. But you see where it started pulling back off of my stamper? That's bad. You don't want to do it that much. So you need to make sure that you work fast and you don't over mix and dry the polish out too much. You could peel the one on the left up and use it as a decal and it would be fine. I just don't really like doing that because I don't like doing all that cleanup. So that's just me. Um, so I'm going back in with another layer to try this again and see if I can get a better look to it. And I freaking love that. Y'all, I worked in a coffee shop, I made lattes, I made cappuccinos, I made mochas, I know what they look like, and that looks like a latte. Very, very cool. And can we talk about my pet peeve from the coffee shop for one minute? I'm going to educate you on coffee. Saying mocha latte is redundant. A mocha is a latte. So if you're ordering a mocha, just ask for a mocha. Anyway, <laughs> I'll get off my mocha soapbox now. We're going to take this latex peel off away and clean up the nail a little bit. I didn't go too hard in it yet because it was still kind of juicy around that cuticle. Then I'm going to go ahead and stamp down the, the stripe for the coffee cup and use the cuticle stick to break away the excess polish and make it stick to that latex barrier so that I can put a top coat on when I'm ready. I'm stamping the coffee symbol there in the middle. Super cute. Freaking adorable. And we're going to go on with this latte foam heart. I don't know if you've ever seen this, but there's designs that baristas do um, in some coffee mugs. Some of them do it, some of them don't. But a heart design is very popular, so I think it's super cute for this. And I had stamped the, uh, the latte saying, what, my brain just went, Bleh. I can't remember what it says. <laughs> Love you a latte. I had stamped that before the heart. I almost forgot to stamp the heart. And so it dried and didn't come off. I'm showing you how I'm fixing that. I'm just picking up another heart, stamping it over the top of it. Can't even see it. I mean, it's there, but if you weren't looking for it, you wouldn't know it was there. And then I'm gonna go back in with a color latte and stamp that over the heart. Now, later in the video, you will see that I realized very close to the end of the video, thank goodness, that, that was the wrong color. I was supposed to use the dark one. And so I did stamp that down and was like, eh, you can't even see it. I was very sad. In order to get these beans on, I'm going to use the Orly Bonder because they've been sitting there for a while. So I want to make sure that they stick down. And that stinking Orly Bonder dried in the amount of time it took me to stamp Love You a Latte on my other nail. So I had some issues with it where it lifted up. I just went in and used a cuticle stick to peel up some of the beans that I needed and stuck them all down by hand and then put a top coat on it. So you gotta find ways to work around problems when you have them. Like this dropped a bean in the middle of it <laughs> by the time I was finished and I didn't like it, but it doesn't look horrible and it fits the theme still. So I'm dealing with it. I'm dealing with it. I'm going through and using a quick dry top coat again on everything. And this is where I correct the love you a latte. Cause it really is, I don't know. I just think it was really cute. That design over the foam heart. And I really wanted to make sure that it popped like it did in that photo. It's super cute. The original designer of that nail art, good job. Bravo. It's, it's adorable. So after I stamp that, I'm going to go in and use a wet and wild top, matte top coat on everything. And that is what it looks like compared to the actual picture. Overall, I think I did a pretty darn good job. <laughs> It is advanced stamping, and I'm going to put an advanced stamping playlist in the upper right hand corner for you if you want to see some other advanced techniques. I really hope you love this. Let me know if you're going to try out this Manny. Um, and if you have any questions about the Manny by Me box, just let me know below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. Are you still here?